Hi, second graders. Today we are going to talk about addition. This word here is addition. That means when you put two groups of items together to figure out how many there are all together. So when I hear the word addition, I think of this symbol. It looks like a T, but it is not the letter T. When I see this symbol and numbers, that tells me I am going to add them together. Sometimes the addition symbol looks like this, and sometimes it looks like this. It just depends how people write it. For math today, we will use this symbol. Okay, so for addition, there are different ways you can add numbers. The first way we are going to add numbers together is by using touch math addition. So if you remember touch math, that is when certain numbers have dots on them. So what number is this? You got it. It is number one, and I can count that number by touching the dot. One. So let's put that in an addition equation. So one plus three equals. So if we look at this equation, I see the plus sign. That tells me to add the numbers together. And I see this symbol. This is an equal sign. That tells me what this is. That tells me when I put one and three together, it makes this number. Okay, are you ready to add? Let's use our counting finger and touch the dots <clears throat> so we can find the total number. Are you ready? Let's count together. One, two, three, four. I just counted four. So that means one plus three equals four. Way to go. Hey, I know another way I can add that. And I can add that using a, do you remember what this is called? Hmm, what is that? You got it, it is a tens frame. I can also use tens frame when I do addition. So let's use our circles. Let's use our circles. I have lots of different red circles. And I also have lots of different blue circles. Let me grab a blue marker. Okay, so let's move this down. I want grab a red marker too. I want to do this equation again, but this time I'm going to use the tens frame strategy. Okay, so let's do one, one plus, what am I adding to it? Three, one plus three, equals, so what does that equal? All right, let's look at my equation. The first number is in blue. What number is that? You got it, one. So I add one circle. Now, I need to add more circles so I can find the total amount. What number is in red? Three, you got it. So I need to add three red circles. One, two, three. 
Okay. Hmm. Now, maybe you already know that number, or we can count it again. One, two, three, four. The total is four. One plus three equals four. You did it. You just added one plus three using the touch math strategy and the tens frame strategy. Should we try another equation? I think so too. So let's clean our dots and erase our numbers. And now, we are ready to do another equation. Hmm, what number should I use? Maybe we can add three plus four. Three plus four. Okay, I'm going to add the touch points. So here are three circles, and now I need four circles. Okay. So, are you ready to count our dots? Okay, remember, for this equation, we are using the touch math strategy to solve the problem. Get your counting finger, and let's start. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, three plus four equals seven. Hmm. Let's try that using the touch math strat, the tens frame strategy. All right. So we need to write three plus. What number should I put here? You got it, the number four. So three plus four equals. Okay, let's use the tens frame strategy so we can find out what this equals. Okay, let's start with the blue dots. How many blue dots do I need? You're right, three blue dots. So I can move over three dots. Good. What's next? I don't know what to do next. Oh, I think I heard someone say it. I need to add four dots to my tense frame. So let's add four dots. One, two, three, four. I have four dots, four red dots in my tense frame. Now, do you remember how to count this? I need to look at the top row. Is it full? Yes, you are right. The top row is full. So I know I start counting at five, and then I count up. So five, six, seven. The answer is Seven. Three plus four equals seven. Way to go. Okay, let's try one more equation. So I will put my dots back. And I will erase my numbers. We are still using addition, so I will leave my plus sign and my equal sign. What number should I use this time? Hmm, let's do two plus six, two plus six. Okay, remember at the top we are using our touch math strategy. 
So let's add the dots. Okay, I'm ready to count. Are you? All right, let's get our finger and count the dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I counted eight. So two plus six equals eight. All right, let's use the tens frame strategy to solve that problem. Let's start with blue. The first number is two. And now the next number is six. Okay, what dots do I use first? Yes, you're right, I use the blue dots. So I need two blue dots. What do I do next? You got it, I need to add six red circles. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, and six. I added two blue dots and six red dots. Now let's use the tens frame counting strategy. The first thing I do is check the top row. Is it full? Yes. It is full. So we start at five, five in your head, and then count up. Five, six, seven, eight. The answer is eight. Look at that. We got the same ans answer using two different strategies. All right, second graders, great job working on addition. I hope you keep working hard at home. Goodbye.